What's going on guys, it's Jay here. Today everybody, I'm going to be telling all the Apex fans out there my very own Apex Legends weapon tier list. I don't really have a legend tier list for, because uh, I, I do know Crypto is my main, but I don't necessarily have like a, a take on the legends for their tier, li for their tier list. But, um, and since I've done so many takes of this, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys my favorite weapons that I'd love to use in the game. So with that being said, let's begin. So first off, I did switch this up a little bit because on how many times I had to constantly and constantly take this over and over again but um so we're just gonna start off from where it's at so first up here we have is the mozambique now the mozambique is i'm not um, i'm not a, i'm not a big fan of that gun mainly, mainly because i'm trash with it um even with hammer point i'm really trash with that thing but i've gotten a few dubs with the little lock and loaded thing going on in the game right now but is it one of my favorites not so much we'll put that maybe at a d anyways next up we have is the triple take uh sniper which is Consider you can really consider it a shotgun because it has because anybody who's really good at hip firing did you can get a lot of dubs with the triple take and hip firing do I like the triple take definitely because I've actually gotten a good amount of dubs with that thing but that may be at a B I guess so yeah next up we have is the longbow DMR which is one of the more slower shooting weapons in the game it's kind of like a bolt action but it's you know but it used to have a faster fire rate when the game was first released but in in Timefall 2 it actually does have a pretty good fire rate like a DMR supposed to. But do I like the longbow? Not so much because I'm fairly inaccurate with it. Hit firing mostly. Well, actually, no, aim down sights mostly. Um, I've, I'm better with the sentinel than the longbow. But do I like the longbow? Um, kind of. We'll put it maybe at a C, maybe, I guess. Next up we have is the charge rifle. Now, I do not like the charge rifle. I am really inaccurate with it. I can't hit fire with it properly. I do not like the charge rifle, so it's one of my least. As I think that that weapon is probably one of the least, one of one of my least favorite weapons in the game. So, yeah, we're just gonna go and put that. Oh my goodness, I hate when it does this. Uh, we'll put that maybe at a D, I guess. Why not? Next up we have is the longbow skull piercer. Now, as I said, I'm not. I'm inaccurate with both, even with skull piercer. I'm gonna say that. But do I like it? Not really. We'll put that maybe at a C. Next up we have is Mozambique with Hammer Point. Now, as I said a few minutes ago, I'm terrible. I'm trash with the Mozambique, both with Hammer Point and without Hammer Point. Um, so for this, so we're gonna put this at a C, because as I said, I'm not I'm fairly accurate with it, you know. Next up we have is Devotion LMG. Devotion, one of my favorite LMGs, but it's not my favorite LMG. So do I like the Devotion? Yes, I do. But you know, um, but doing with recoil, hmm, too much recoil, but. Do I like it? Yes. So we're gonna put that maybe at a at a B, I guess. Next up we have is devotion with turbocharger. Now, as I said, I'm okay with the devotion, but not so bad because devotion can kind of be like a spray and pray weapon. But you know, due to the fact with all that recoil and that muzzle rise, you know, yeah, you know, it's gonna be pretty hard to get targeted. You know what I'm saying? So we'll put that maybe at uh, I guess B, I guess. Next up is the Havoc Rifle with either, well, well, just no turbocharger or with turbocharger. Now, I actually do like, I love the Havoc with turbocharger. I'm a beast with it. If you give me a one times cog and a um, and turbocharger, then we are really talking and just any extended mag for it. Then, yeah, but without turbocharger, I love it. So we're going to put this, oh my, I hate when this does this. This is what I love doing on the computer, but we're going to put that at an A. And same with the turbocharger. Next up we have is the Mastiff Shotgun. My favorite shotgun in the game. It's actually been my favorite ever since the Peacekeeper. Um, but the Mastiff, I've gotten a couple of dubs with it. Um, it's a really good, like, up close and personal weapon. Like, if you're really up close to the enemy and you want to, like, kill them pretty fast, break their shields one shot and then hit them with the next one, especially if you hit them in the head. Um, or really around the chest, like it really kills them real, real good with around the chest. So Mastiff, definitely. That like that's my favorite. Was one of my favorite weapons in the game. Oh my goodness! And we're gonna put that in the nest. Next up we have is the L Star. I'm actually pretty good with the L Star. It's okay. It's a pretty okay gun, but you know, due to it overheating, it's kind of like the blaster of Apex Legends. You know, like the blasters of Star Wars and stuff like that. It's kind of like the blaster of Apex Legends where it doesn't run out of ammo it's just that you need to fill it up with more stuff you know what i'm saying the l star is one way it's not well i'm pretty good with the l star because it has a pretty nice recoil pattern so put that in the name next one we have is the flatline my favorite assault rifle it, my r301 used to be my favorite assault rifle but the flatline took over when i got dubs with the one times cog attached to that thing and since i've since ever ever since that i've been using a flatline if i ever find an assault rifle that would be my uh assault rifle of choice so s definitely next one we have is the hemlock now the hemlock 
uh, I'm okay with it a little bit. I mean, like I've, I, I mean, it's a really good gun to use at range. You know, like, uh, like maybe, maybe at least 100 meters away. It's really good. I've gotten, I've actually used it three times on this thing, and and pepper sprayed a freaking octane with it one time. So the hemlock mm, B. Next up we have is the Spitfire, which is my favorite LMG in the game. And as you see here, um, you got all the stuff right here. But the Spitfire. It, I really have a hard time choosing this thing between the Mastiff and a few other like a Mastiff and a Flatline basically But the Spitfire is my favorite OMG and we're gonna put that in the name Next up we have is the Wingman, uh, the Wingman pistol, one of the more powerful weapons It's not as powerful as it used to be in Apex Legends, it did the exact same damage as it did in Season 1 But it was just somehow more powerful, kind of like a Desert Eagle in a way But um, the Wingman is my is one of my favorite pistols, it's not my favorite pistol Every, If anybody on my channel knows one of my favorite pistols, especially uh, Fire Blast knows my favorite pistol But the Wingman is one of my favorites and I've gotten, a, I've gotten so many dubs with this gun Because I'm very good with Iron Sights Wingman, not many people are really good with Iron Sights Wingman but I swear, if anybody's ever, well, unless you're trying to get somebody from, from afar with a wingman, never put a two times bruiser on a wingman unless you're trying to get somebody from afar. But other than that, wingman, yes, definitely one of my favorites. I'm putting that in an S. Next up is the G7 Scout, a very nice, it used to be a sniper, but it's now an assault rifle. I still consider it a sniper because you can get people from afar. Because um, yeah, apparently you you could you used to be able to attach sniper stocks and everything to the to this uh, to the G7, which is kind of weird. But anyways, but the G7 is a very good wep weapon to use. Now with double tap, I know double taps not up here, but with G7 with double tap, <clears throat> um, it's not for it's not particularly good, especially if you're getting somebody from a range. Unless you're up close and personal, I can kind of see that happening. But other than that, I'm putting that at an A. Next up is the Craver 50 Cal Sniper, one of the most powerful weapons to use in the game due to its uh, very guaranteed knockdown headshot. Uh, that didn't, I didn't even put that right, but it's always like a guaranteed knockdown if you hit him in the head. So, um, for the Kraber, oh my goodness, this trans will piss me off right now, but the Kraber, put that in a B, because I've actually used it to break a shield one time, break somebody's shields one time, but I didn't use it to kill. Next up we have is the EVA 8 shotgun, which is a pretty good shotgun to use. Not my favorite, but... I really like the EVA 8, even when it like, uh, obviously I loved it even more when it had double tap, but I'm still pretty good with it. But the EVA 8, we'll put that maybe at a C, it's not my all time favorite shotgun, but I still love to use it a lot. Next up is the Peacekeeper shotgun, which is another very good shotgun to use. I'm going to do this kind of fast because I'm running out of time for my phone, my phone wants to start being stupid now. So for Peacekeeper, I love the shotgun. So we'll put that maybe at a, at a let's put it at an A. Next up we have is the Alternator SMG, one of my, my favorite SMG to actually use in the game actually. Due to its recent buff, it's almost kind of like the Alternator from Timefall 2 if you wish, because the Alternator in Timefall 2 is actually pretty overpowered, I've used it a lot myself. But the Alternator, very good SMG in my opinion, and I'll put, oh my goodness bro. <laughs> and we'll put that in a name. Next up is the RE45 Auto Pistol, which is another pretty good pistol to use. Uh, many people actually use it as a, as a sidearm choice, you know what I'm saying, or sidearm or choice. Especially, it's a very good gun to use in the in the start of a match. So for the RE45, I do like the gun. We'll put it at an A. Next up is the Sentinel, which is another good sniper. I've gotten a, actually gotten a, a kill with this thing from afar, like from a few meter, like from a few. I've actually gotten this thing. I've actually gotten a kill with this thing from a few meters away, and I actually do like it. And its charge mechanic is pretty good, so I'll put it at a B. Next up is the P2020, which is my favorite pistol in the game. And now I know every, I know what all Apex fans are gonna say. Oh, this dude likes the P2020. Oh, this dude, this dude, that freaking gun's trash. It's how about this? It's just you're not good with it, buddy. <laughs> But anyways, the P2020, both with hammer point and without hammer point, I mostly, I really only use this thing either as a last resort when I know that I might, that I either have no more ammo in my primary weapon, or if I have, or if, you know, or if their shields are broken, which is the majority of the time is what I use this thing for, so definitely, oh shoot, <laughs> so definitely this thing is definitely going on an S, same with hammer point. Next up is Skull Piercer Wingman. I actually forgot to put it up here, but um, I'm not pretty good. Well, I'm pretty good with Wingman, Skull Piercer, but we'll put the Skull Piercer at A. Next up we have is the Volt SMG, which is another pretty good gun to use. I've actually used a good amount of times. Havoc and a Volt, if, for, for anybody who's watched that live stream where I did, where I actually used those two weapons to dominate the field, you guys already know I'm a beast with those guns. So we'll put that at an A. 
Next up we have is the Prowler SMG, which is another good gun to use. I've actually used it before, but way before it was a care package weapon back in season three. Um, so we'll put this at maybe, I guess a B. Next up is the R99, which is a, which is a also, for many people say is one of the best SMGs to use in the game. In my opinion, it's it's fire it's fire rate's a little too it's a little too fast, but it's but more fire but faster fire rate means more lead put down range, so we'll put that in a B. Next up is Wingman with a quick draw holster. Now quick draw I've never really used quick draw, but it's a pretty cool hop up, but we'll put that at a B. Same with RE45 with quick draw. Next up is the last three weapons are the uh, 3030 repeater, which I'm pretty good at hip firing with this thing. I'm stuck at aiming down sights though, so we'll put that in the name. Last up, the two weapons that we have, the last two weapons that we have are R301 with uh, with Anvil and Flatline with Anvil Receiver. So, do I like these two? Not so much. I mean, Anvil is pretty good. It's basically kind of like a built-in hammer point in a way, um, where it's where without shield. Well, if you shoot somebody with Anvil without shield, it's kind of like three shots kill. It's a 35 percent, also 35 damage. Same damage as uh, Hammer Point with P2020. But do I like these? Uh, not so much both for these because I actually died to somebody using flatline and anvil like in semi-auto and I thought it was in full auto which is pretty funny all right so that does my apex legends weapon tier list I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering like why do you use some of these guns in the game like they suck like they're trash it's just that I always have this saying that if you don't like those guns if you think they're trash it's just that you're not good with it like literally I'm a pretty good I have more accuracy fire always fire blast always told me that uh, I know that he has a better trigger finger with the P2020, whereas with me, I have better accuracy, which is actually fairly true. Um, I'm not, I'm okay with hip fire, I'm better aiming down sights with this thing. And no, by the way, if I, I'm pretty sure a lot of guys are like, do you use the P2020 with optics? No, I do not. I, I'm much better with that thing with just iron sights. So, anyways, but that being said, if you guys like this video, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about this tier list in the comment section down below. For any passing Apex fans, and even probably even Apex fans on my channel now. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.